Hello, I'm Atuba George, and I'm so glad to be bringing God's truth to you. Now, now, listen, this week, Saturday, we're having our program Sound the Alarm. Now, it's holding at the Zoo's Paradise Hotel. The address and everything is on the screen. I don't want you to miss this Saturday's program. You know why? We are taking this thing a, high, a step higher, getting to know Jesus and enjoying his presence. Praise God. So plan towards it. Clear your schedule for this weekend, Saturday. Now, this month, we're just having one meeting on Saturday, and you don't want to miss it for anything. Praise God. This thing, I'll be expecting you. Praise God. Now, you know, you know for some reason, I, I sense in my heart, that you are about to move to the next level of your life. And it's not your making. I'm telling you what the mind of God is for you right now. You know, I was just asking the Lord, like, well, why, why am I stuck in this place? You know, I don't seem to be able to move from here. And, and the Lord began to talk to me that because the people hearing you are about to move to the next phase of their lives. Praise God. So wherever you are right now, the Lord is moving you to the next level in your business, in, in wherever you are. See, it's time to move to the next level. So get up. Just get up. Obey the word of the Lord that is coming to your heart. And everything you need. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. You know, that's what Peter said. He has given to us all things that pertain to life and godliness. And how? Through the knowledge of him. Through the knowledge of him, yes. And Peter is telling us that if these things be in you, they make you, they make you, thank you, Lord Jesus, they make you that you are never idle. Oh, do you know what that means? It means, let me, let me read this. For if these things be in you and abound, they make you that you shall neither be that you shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. But he that lacketh these things is blind. See, now, now, I told you something. Anyone who truly is increasing in the knowledge of God, you will find these things in him. Now, you see, what are you going to find in him? You're going to find him always excelling in, in the things of God, in his mind. See, you, you'll find a prosperous mind. You, you can't meet me yesterday and to come back today and you still see me stuck in the same reasoning. No. And that's why you see, that's why you see a man is prospering. Not, not the physical things that he has. Check his mindset. Check the kind of conversation he's having. You will know he's prospering. See. Now it says, For, but he that lacketh these things is blind. So when you don't find these things, when you don't find patience in a man, when you don't find self-control in a man, when you don't find knowledge in a man, when you don't find, you don't see these things increasing in him. You see, when you don't find brotherly kindness, he's rude to everybody. And then he's still telling you that, no, God is, is with me. Uh, 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 uh. The Bible says he is blind. And, and then what? He says he is blind and cannot see afar off and has forgotten that he was purged from his own sins. Now watch this verse 10. It says, Wherefore the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if you do these things, you shall never fall. Now notice when he says you shall never fall. Verse 11, it says, For so an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I love this. It says, for so an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. What's he saying? The knowledge of God is going to come to you. You know, that's what Paul said in Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 17. He says, I pray for you that, that God will grant you. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. He says, for this cause I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, that he will grant you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. See, he says here that if these things are in you and are bound, now this is your own part. If you get this thing, submit yourself to the working of these things in your life. They will make you that you will never be barren. Now, what does it mean, never be barren? It means your heart is always open to learn. See? Now, you begin to understand what Jesus meant 
when, when in, in his teachings. For example, when Jesus said, love your enemies. And then you look at it and say, oh, <laughs> how is that going to work? I should love my enemies. It's because you have not grown in his knowledge. Now, what do you do with that word? Accept it. I believe Jesus said it, but man, it's so difficult. I don't know how, but I believe Jesus said it. And now when you open your heart like that, now he's going to begin to increase you in his knowledge, increase you in his knowledge. And then suddenly you will look at that scripture, love your enemies one day. And you say, now nah, I understand what Jesus was talking about. Because you realize that you have grown in capacity to love your enemies. Why? Because you have grown to realize that they really can never hurt you. Did you get that? And that's it. Why don't we walk in love? Because we are afraid. Afraid of what? What the enemy can do to us. What the devil can do to us. But listen, you must grow to that point where you know that the devil, there is nothing the devil can do to you. See, that's when you will understand what he said, that all things work together for good. So let the devil throw his best shot at you. You know what he's going to do for you? Turn out good. Praise God. But you've got to be in the right attitude for this to happen. Now, guess what? Everything the devil throws at you, you're patient. You're patient. You're watching. You have self-control. You don't react just like that. And then what's going to happen to you? The Lord Jesus Christ is going to visit you all the time. Say, so why is he going to visit me all the time? Because he has seen that you are displaying meekness. I'm going to talk to you about meekness tomorrow and then we'll wrap this thing up. Praise God. I pray for you today that the Spirit of God will guide your steps. You know, even as the Lord is saying it's time to expand, it's time to move to the next level, I'm praying for you today that the Holy Spirit will take you by the hand and guide you into every truth that you need today. I pray that the right calls will come into your phone today. I pray that you will meet the right people who will speak the right words into your life today and give you the right ideas and the right information in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Go and prosper today. Amen. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.